In this video, we're going to start designing our, uh, our project and we're going to start with the palm trees. Uh, so let's quickly create a new artboard. So I'm simply going to grab the artboard tool right here. And since I don't want to, uh, want to clone um, the artboard itself, I don't want to clone uh, its contents. I don't want to clone my design. I got to make sure that move copy artwork with artboard uh, option is not selected. So I'm simply going to make sure that it's, uh, that it's deselected. And I'm simply going to drag it down just like that. And I'm going to hold down the Alt and the Shift keys together. And of course, if you are on a Mac, just hold down the Shift and the Option keys together. And I'm going to release uh, the buttons and maybe let me just bring it just a bit up. And there we go. We got our artboard, uh, our artboard created. Now I'm going to create a new layer as well. So in the Layers panel, I'm simply going to Alt click on the Create New Layer icon to get this dialog box. And I am going to name it, uh, just let's name it Island, just like that. Okay, now that we have our, our artboard and our layer created, we can actually start creating uh, the leaves. Let me just maybe zoom in just a bit. What I want to do right now, what I want to start with is uh, is a simple ellipse. So I'm going to make uh, the ellipse tool uh, active by pressing the L key on the keyboard. And I'm simply going to create an ellipse that's going to be looking something like that. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Circle can be something like this. Okay, so what we need to do right now is we need to convert these uh, the, the left and the right anchor point of our ellipse um, so they are no longer smooth anchor points but they're going to be like sharp anchor points. So in order to do that all we need to do is to simply grab the convert to anchor point tool just like that and I am simply going to click on this guy right here and on this guy right here so we get something like an eye shape. I guess you could call it an eye shape. Okay, so what I want to do right now is I want to click simply on this um, on this eye shape and I want to copy it into my clipboard and then paste it in front. So what I'm doing is I'm simply pressing the Control C and then Control F on my keyboard. And as you can see, we got two shapes created just like that. Now what we need, what we need to do is we need to simply make this guy smaller, uh, but we want to make it smaller in relation to its center point. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to grab it by this anchor point. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to make it smaller. But of course, I need to add, um, I need to press the Alt key or Option if you're on a Mac to, to actually make it smaller in, re in relation to its center point. So I'm going to press the Alt key to, uh, as well. And I think that something like that should be fine. Okay, now we gotta repeat the process, but we gotta we gotta do it with this uh, with smaller eye. Let's call it like that. It's a smaller eye. Okay, so I'm simply going to Control C and Control F to copy and paste it in front, and again by holding down the Shift key, uh, I am simply going to click on this anchor point and make this guy smaller to something like this. This should be fine. Okay, now that we got all these guys, uh, all these guys created, what we need to do is we need to divide them using the Pathfinder tool. So I'm simply going to select them, and I'm going to go to the Pathfinder tool right here, and I'm simply going to use the function called divide, just like that. And the result of each of Pathfinder transformation is going to be a group which we can see here in the control panel. And so I'm simply going to ungroup it. So we could either go to the object menu and then ungroup, or we could go with the shift control plus G shortcut on our keyboard. Now we are not going to need all these bottom shapes right here. So I'm simply going to delete them. And I think we could start, uh, I think we could start adding colors uh, to our, to our leaf. So you can actually see that <laughs> that is going to be a leaf. So I'm going to grab this bottom, uh, bottom uh, path. And I'm going to go to my uh, to my swatches and I'm going to choose this darker color right here, darker green. And with this guy, I'm going to go with this lighter green, just like that. And of course, I don't need any any stroke, so I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm simply going to maybe rotate them just like that. This should be fine. Okay, the next step would be to simply rotate this leaf to the right and then reflect all uh, well, the three leaves, uh, leaves um, to the left. So that's as easy as simply selecting this guy, selecting the, this leaf, and I'm gonna make uh, the rotate tool active by pressing the R key on the keyboard. And I want my rotation to happen from this point right here, from this anchor point. So I'm simply going to click on it, just like that. 
and I'm going to move my leaf down to maybe somewhere here. This should be fine. And of course, I want to clone this guy. So I'm going to add the alt key to my transformation to simply clone it, something like that. And of course, all we really need to do is to simply hit Ctrl D on our keyboard or Command D if you're on a Mac to duplicate the last selection, which was uh, the last transformation, which was uh, clone, which was rotating the leaf and cloning it at the same time. Which, by the way, is the same as going to the Object menu, Transform and Transform again, just like that. Okay, now that we got all these guys created, what we really need to do, and the last step to do here, is to simply reflect them to the right. And we can reflect them using the Reflect tool. So I'm simply going to make it active by pressing the O key on the keyboard. And I want the re re reflection to happen in relation to this bottom anchor point. So I'm going to simply Alt click on it this time to get this dialog box. And I want uh, the reflection to be vertical. And I want to hit Copy. I don't want to hit OK. Just like that. And there we go. We got our our palm tree leaves created. So in the process, we used some simple transformations. We used the ellipse tool, to, of course, to create uh, to create the first leaf. Then we rotated it uh, and cloned it, and then reflected it to to the left. Of course, we added uh, some nice colors to our to our leaves. And there we go. We got the first part of our palm tree created. So in the second in the next video, we are actually going to create the stem of our palm tree, and we're going to use some warping and some path uh, path uh, dividing, splitting, path splitting actually. And so if that's something that you're interested in, keep watching.